Hello everyone, in this video I am going to talk about the case number 1 of tangential method of tachometric surveying in which both the angles of target are the angles of valuation. Now consider a cross section of land that is being shown in this figure. Now on these two points are given as point A and point B. Instrument is being placed at one point and the staff is being placed at another point. It is being asked to calculate the horizontal distance between them as the D distance. Let's say that this is the axis of the instrument. As I said that both the angles of target are the angles of elevation. So this is theta 1 as the angle of elevation and then we will have theta 2 in this case i am considering theta 2 is greater than theta 1 the difference of the star readings at both the angles is being named as s which is stereo intercept and the vertical distance from the axis of instrument to the point where the star reading is being taken at theta 1 is b as the d distance is required so in order to calculate the d distance we are going to consider this right angle triangle in that right angle triangle we have base as d and perpendicular as the combination of b and s in the cases of stereo method most of the time we are being given with the, the hypotenuse as the, the distance that is being calculated by the formula but in this case the perpendicular and the base is there so we are going to use a trigonometric relationship that contains perpendicular and base and we know that that is 10 theta so then 10 theta would be equal to s plus v over d so as we want to calculate d so by cross multiplying then the formula of the d will be so in this equation you can see that there are three variables are there s theta 2 and v s is the stereo intercept which we can determine in field the theta 2 can also be determined on field but the v is the vertical distance that we have considered but that cannot be determined so in order to calculate that d distance we are going to consider this right angle triangle so in this right angle triangle the perpendicular is v and the base is d so again we are going to use a tan theta so then tan theta 1 would be equal to v over d by cross multiplying then we have the formula for the v as so putting the value of v in the equation of d we will have the resulting equation as by simplifying further we can have the formula for the d as here you can see that there are three variables are there stereo intercept theta 1 and theta 2 so these all variables can be noted on field the stereo intercept can be noted on field theta 1 and theta 2 can also be noted on field so in order to have the formula for the v putting the value of d into the equation of v then the resulting equation for the v would be again here you can see that there are three variables are there as stereo intercept theta 1 and theta 2 again these are the three variables that can be noted on field so that we can calculate the value for the v now sometime we are also being asked to calculate the reduced level of point b so in order to calculate the reduced level of point b let's have a point where the reduced level is being known which is usually the benchmark so placing the staff at the benchmark we will have then the backside reading as bs so then the reduced level of point b can be calculated as the reduced level of the benchmark plus backside reading then we will have the reduced level of the axis of instrument then by adding the value of v then we will have the reduced level at this point but since we want to know the reduced level at point b so then we need to go a little down it means we will be subtracting this staff reading so let's say that this staff reading is h so subtracting h in this equation will give us the final value for the reduced level of point b so this is all from the case number one of presidential method of tachometric serving in which both the angles of target are the angles of elevation that's it thank you very much for watching this video